guys, Stitching May here with my weekly Friday update. Um, I don't have a lot of progress to show you. I have a little bit of haul, some progress. My stitching bug kind of went this week. It's not that my bug wasn't there or isn't there. I've wanted to stitch. I just haven't had the time. It's been a crazy week. Um, like I said in the end of the last video, um, we started working on our floors I ended the video thinking that I was going to stitch the rest of the night and then my brother was like hey let's pull let's go ahead and start pulling up the floors you can help me if you want of course I'm not going to sit there and stitch while he's you know working in my house so I ended up helping him pull up the flooring it was 650 square feet of flooring um, they were each individual boards that were glued down to the floor to the concrete so we were having to pry them up with a pry bar and a rubber mallet we finished about 5 o'clock in the morning. My husband had no clue we had even started. So he came to, comes home and one leg of the journey was done. They then had to scrape up the floor by hand. All the glue off the floor. And then lay down the new... We put in laminate. Um, really long story why we chose laminate. You don't care about that. We chose laminate. Um, and I'll insert a picture of some of that at the end of the video. That way if you're not interested in listening to it or seeing it. You don't have to. Whatever. Um... However, then we had to get the house back in order. We are still sweeping and dusting and vacuuming and mopping and sweeping and dusting to get all the dust from this project up. So it's it's been a long week, busy week. On top of that, Connor had two baseball games and um, it's just been a pretty busy week. And we got a random call. I forgot to mention this in my last video. We got a random call. <laughs> <laughs> that Connor gotten stung by a bee and that he was swelling up. Then I go flying to the school and it was a sweat bee. He was perfectly fine. So it's, it's been an eventful week. He now has strep. <laughs> Life. Anyway, so I worked on a whole two projects so far this week. Um, I did finish one of the, the um, assignments for Magical Stitches. We're supposed to have three. I'm hoping that between tonight and tomorrow before work, while I'm up with Connor, that I can get some of this stuff completed. Um, we'll see. Let's just jump right in. Okay, so the homework this week was to stitch on... What were the three things? Um, the problems that were going on, going on at Hogwarts. The lady, the... Um, the door to the Gryffindor common room, the fat lady po poster, that's what they call her, had been slashed. So you had to work on something that was 75% done, 300 stitches. One was that Snape had gone off course on his um, teachings because he started teaching about werewolves instead of defense against dark arts. So that was to stitch on something that you had either changed or something that you had mistakes in and that you went with. And the third one is to the Dementors cause the blackout. So you stitch on something with dark threads. 300 stitches each. Um, I have finished one. And I worked on my piece by the Silver Creek Samplers. This is called Curly Locks. It is, um, it says there once was a girl who had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. And when she was good, she was very, very good. And when she was bad, she was horrid. I'm working on this piece because A, I changed it. Um, I changed the this orange color in the border to a DNC, excuse me, hiccups again, variations. I'm using DNC, not 400. What is the number that I'm using? 4130, it's one of the variations. I also changed her clothes. Um, because what was charted is a different color than what is on the model and I changed it to match the model. I also scooted her over and there are so many revisions in the alphabet that it's not even funny. Luckily it's a wonky alphabet and it doesn't really matter. So this is where I was before this and this is where I currently am. Now um, I finished out two or three of these lines of words and they came on up. I think I finished very, very she and her, I think. And that was about 310 stitches. Actually, that was exactly 310 stitches. 
I will probably use this again for the 75% done because as you can see, it is almost done. Kind of almost done. 75% of the way done. <laughs> and this is also a year of whips for me, so I would like to get it done this year. But there she is. I also got to stitch with Connie for the first time in what feels like months. I think it was only two weeks, but it feels like months. I was having withdrawals. We worked on our Soda Stitch and of Green Gables. This is what the finished project will look like. Um, let me look and see. I can tell you how many stitches I stitched on it. Um, so I worked on... This is what it looked like beforehand while I'm looking for this. I worked on backstitching Matthew and I worked on backstitching the cake and then I also worked on um, the bottom left hand. Let me see. Where is my... Mm -hmm. Sorry. I forgot to write it down. Like I said, this week's been crazy. Um, I did 195 back stitches which equaled 97 stitches. And then I did 200 and, well, I'm sorry, 175 whole stitches for a total of 272 stitches total on this piece. I used this for my ultimate stitch challenge. You had to stitch, there's several different um, extra credits that last for the whole year. And you have to stitch a thousand stitches on those projects. This one is the one I'm using for the books one because there are seven books in the series. This to this session brought me up to 773 sti 733 stitches for um, this challenge. And you can't use this for anything else. Like the stitches that go to the year long challenge, you can only use for the year long challenge. So, like I said, I back stitched Matthew, I back stitched this cake, I did this border and started at the bottom of this. This is going to be the teapot and um, teacup. But that is that. Connie! is flying like she's got all but this middle like this top motif and this middle piece so i don't know how i'm gonna catch up i don't know why she's such a fast faster stitcher than i am i don't know i get distracted easy but there am is and then that is all the progress i got um i plan to work on for the dark stitches i want to work on my prairie schooler Prairie Moon, neither not Prairie Schooler, wrong name. Prairie Moon Crip Club. That one. I plan to work on this one for my dark stitches. But there, that is my plans now for tonight and tomorrow. If I have enough time to stitch tomorrow, is to work on this one for the 300 stitches for the Dementors, and then, um, then the curly locks again for the 75% for the. Um, the fat lady vanishes. So, I have not worked on this piece anymore, but I had planned to last week, and I told you guys that once I had it off the cue snaps, that I would let you guys know what colors I had put where on my Abby Lane Designs New Beginnings. There is no new progress on this, so if, you know, it is what it is. So, this is what my Abby Lane will look like when it's finished. I will show you where I currently am. It's the same place I was last week. Sorry, as I've been over to pick up my board again. I was just going to tell you the colors that I had substituted. Because <clears throat> some people had asked. Um, most of these are from a Dinky Dyes Oops pack that I got or Color and Cotton. So this first color is from Dinky Dyes. It was a Oops pack and it's Cabernet. This yellow is a Moe's Silk. It's called Honey Drop. This blue is a color in cotton. It's called Midnight Blue. This down here was another um, Dinky Dyes. It's also called Midnight Blue, but look how different they are. Obviously, they're different brands, but still. Um, this little motif here was a... Dinky Dyes, I believe, is called Dark Chocolate. 
Pinky Dye's Jenda Lee. This is also used in Pumpkin Swirl. This down here was a Dinky Dye's called Camo Green. Right. Yes. This was a limited edition um, classic color works. No clue the color, just a limited edition. And then this right here is a coloring cotton called Hunter. So there are the colors that I've used so far, if you were wanting to know any of the colors. And that is all the progress that I've done. Nothing new from last week. Just the same old, same old. And then on to haul. So I have a little bit of haul. I have two gifts um, to show. One is from a lady. I did not get permission to share her name. I met her at a retreat. I know that she watches, watches Floss Tube. And she was working on this piece. I, I want to say she was working on it or either showed it to me. Showed me her finish. I don't remember. I want to say she was working on it. At the November retreat in Pigeon Forge. And I commented on it. And she got my address. And she sent me the, the pamphlet when she was finished. And it's by Frosty Ritter Designs. It is called Shimmering Dragonfly. I'm sure there's a glare. And she also sent me the leftover Sulky Shimmer. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. It's a kind of purpley, grayish, rainbowy, shimmery thread. That's for the body. And then there is another metallic for the wings that I'll get. It is Starburst Blending Filament. I think that's also going to be a, um, a Sulky. Or you can be the dragonfly body with, ooh, you can use beads as well. Ooh, I just showed that pattern. I was trying to show the bead that you can use beads and surely you didn't get that that fast. If you got that pattern that fast, then I'm sorry. And then I had mentioned that I had ordered from the page um, Love to Stitch. And I mentioned that I had purchased originally a pattern and that that pattern did not come and that he had sent me a um a another the replacement patterns when i was looking for this pattern online because i fell in love with it I, the only thing i could find was a picture on pinterest and when i clicked on it it turned out to be the lovely olivia b's <laughs> Pinterest page and I messaged her I was like oh my gosh it's a small world where else can you click on a picture online and then find out that it was on her pin board because she had it and I said um I told her I was like that's funny I was looking for this pattern you know trying to find it and it took me to Pinterest and I clicked it because I thought it was gonna be a store you know sometimes people link stuff to stores I clicked on it and it ended up being her pin where she had pinned it she said that she was not going to stitch it so she sent it to me this is the drawn thread hearts and flowers the violet sampler guys i don't know i'll i'll try to insert a picture closer up of it it'll probably be olivia b's picture um up close because i know you're not gonna be able to appreciate that in the in the picture like in you know you're not gonna be able to close enough to see how pretty this is so um i am Going, I'm planning to send things back to both of these people since they sent me something. Um, Lydia is making it hard. She won't tell me anything she needs. Neither will the other girl, so I'm going to have to be kind of sneaky. I guess not too sneaky now that they know what I'm planning on. Um, Got to find something to send to them as a thank you. But then that's it for my haul. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I got my a monthly installment of my color and cotton glosses somebody's already shown these i'm going to try to show them to you too maybe i'll have better luck i know before the person had some issues use this thing instead of that maybe it'll show up because this is white too and this will be easier to hold it with than that big card the top to my my box of shame so the first one is color and cotton it is called Pink Sands. 
and because the camera that I have, I have no clue if, until I edit this video if this is showing up correct or not. So, I don't have a viewfinder that I can see. Um, the next color is apparently <laughs> the one that gave so much trouble. It is called Cactus. It is in real life. It has kind of got a blue, browny, greeny tint to it. It's beautiful. But I noticed that even in real life, I was showing this to Connie. And from across the room, she was like, oh, that's green. And I'm like, no, it's not really green when I hold it. And then I handed it to her. And she's like, oh, you're right, it's not green. And then I looked at it from across the room. I was like, wow, that kind of looks green from here. I don't know what kind of magic she did. But this is a magic thread. Because depending not only on the camera, but also where you are in the room, it has a different shade to it. Um, this one is called Clay. That's probably going to show up more pink than it really is. It's almost like a, like a muddy clay color. Fitting. This one is Mint Julep. A very pretty, like, I don't want to say pale green. It's, it is a pale green, but it's not like a bright pastel pale green. It's a very pretty. I love this. I love this color. My favorite one this month is this one. It is called Tartan. It's got some blues and some purples in it. I have, I'm hoping these are showing up to the light. Life. I've got a lot of light on them. Hopefully they're showing up. But that is it for this week. Um, I don't work extra next week. I only work my normal days instead of working extra. We're not ripping apart our house and having to put it back together. And we are out of school and no baseball games. I'm hoping that I'm going to have plenty of time to stitch. We will see. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys again Friday. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the comments you leave me. And welcome back to all my i guess it's kind of late to welcome back my new subscribers but thank you to my subscribers and thank you for the people that are watching that aren't subscribed as always take care and happy stitching